Hello, how's it going today? It's K from Japan, Tokyo. So on today's video, I would like to share one of my trades. I just took a trade on this uh, Euro JPY buy about um, two hours ago, and I would like to share with you how I took that buy. So let's get started. So once again, this is a recorded video because every Wednesdays, Tuesdays, and also Saturdays, um, I am recording video. So tomorrow, Thursday, and Friday. Uh, there will be a live stream, but today this is a recorded video, so this is not a live stream, just in case. So before moving on, um, just a quick disclaimer, this information is basically based on my experience and knowledge, so when you take trades, please do with your own risk. So, as I said before, I took a buy on this uh, Euro JPY, and now it's going towards my direction. I took this one um, about 2 hours ago, so let me show you how I took this buy. So this is MT5 platform with the correct displacement of Ichimoku. So, when I was looking at the chart, this is a 4 hour chart. In 4, the Kumo was moving up. You can see that the ten, both the Tenkan and Kijun Sen up and Chikou span all the way above the candles. So from yesterday, I was looking for the buy chance, expecting the market break, the recent high on this 4 hour chart upwards, and now it did. So that's why, I, after I woke up from the bed, I took a buy here. I got three confirmations in lower time frames and took this buy. But direction wise, once again, this is uptrending, so I was looking for buy chance. That's the primary condition. So, just in case checking out this uh, daily chart, this is also up. You can see that the, um, if, you can, if I can zoom in, um, hold on, I have to uh, yeah, zoom out a bit so that you can see the whole Kumo. So, um, yeah, the Kumo here actually is up, and also Kijun Sen is up. But I didn't take a trade based on the daily time frame trend because um, Kumo is still too young, too short, and also Kijun Sen is into the Kumo now. So in this case, let's say the market reaches up to the recent high, up to this um, head and shoulders. Once the market might reach over uh, these levels, then it might be rejected and comes backwards. Because um, because Kumo Kijun Sen are still, you know, uh, not really matured yet. So that's why I took this four hour chart because in four I can see that there's this there is more more solid and more decent Kumo, and both the Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen moving up, and I can see the strong uptrend momentum here. So I was and then I was looking at the one hour chart to confirm this uptrend, and I found that this was uptrending. As why, as why I was looking at the market, once again, the Kumo was moving up, Senko Span BA were up both ways, and also Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen up, Chikou Span above the candles. So this is how I confirmed this uptrend on this 1 hour chart. And then when it comes to taking the buy, I was looking at the 5, and this is exactly where I took a buy here. So um, I was looking at this uh, Bollinger Band in Sky 6 as usual and a couple of lines. So let me show Bollinger Bands. So I took a buy, let me put the vertical line where I took it to buy. So that was exactly over here. Um, let's see, yeah, it was, I think it was this one. And yeah, sorry, I was looking at the 15, sorry. I was looking at the 15 and I saw that there was a potential gold cross of uh, stochastics and also this um, Bollinger Band band walking. Nice band walking, and also I saw the squeeze, and after the squeeze, I confirmed the market bullish. After the squeeze, so from these three confirmations, I took the buy, and also I saw the recent high renewal. I mean, broke the recent high uppers breakout simply, and then that's why I took a buy exactly here. And now it's going towards my direction, so. Yeah, my analysis is pretty simple. Actually, this is based on my own strategy, KTS. Um, I, I don't fully take the, you know, Ichimoku, all these Ichimoku strategies. Um, sometimes I take the time theory and price theories, but uh, this time I took my own strategy to take a buy. So, once again, I saw this uh, stochastic gold cross. My stochastic setting is at 30, 10, 10, if you're new to my channel. My stochastic setting is 30, 10, and 10, 
and this is relatively slower but this is more it's got more decent signals to buy so that was one one of the confirmations and then um, band walking is where the market actually goes above or below uh, along with this a uh, deviation one two so it was band walking and then Bollinger Band squeeze after the squeeze it did bound walking so most likely if that's the case and if this was uptrend then most likely it's gonna go towards that direction and also I saw the recent high breakout so basically I got uh, four confirmations in this case uh, one Bollinger Band bound walking that's two squeeze the three and recent high break as four so I got four confirmations to buy here so I still put the stop loss below the recent low which is at this level this is my stop loss because I place a stop loss uh, based on the lower time frames either 5 or 15 minute time frame so my stop loss right now is um, hold on if I can just put this uh, arrow here this is a 26 pips below the position which is decent not too far not too tight 26 is okay so I'm taking 2% risk for this trade and I'm expecting the market go up along the way this way so let me talk about when I will move the stop loss to break even in this case so right now I'm on the buy so I'm expecting the market go up along this bullish in the wave goes up this way so once I confirm this bullish in the wave that will be when I move the stop to break even so right now there's a little pushback in this area and once the market breaks higher this way upwards then exactly if when I confirm the break that's when I move the stop to break even because reasonably that's the confirmation for this continuous uptrend in lower time frame so we'll see if it happens um, I have to hop out from home in about um, yeah like a 15 minutes uh, but I will be watching the market from mobile and once I confirm the breakout when I'm outside of home then I will set the break even line from mobile so then I will stay away from the market maybe for the next uh, two or three hours until I see the chart next time so yeah that was my trade I hope you enjoyed the trade so I have um, just as a um, confirmation um, I've got this um, yeah euro JPY buy and I bought it uh, at this price of uh, 126.025 two positions a risk 2% and expecting the market go up along this way so thank you for watching until then if you liked today's video please press a good button and make sure you subscribe and click the bell button so that you get notified as I do these lives or videos every day. So, I have the GTS Global Trading School where I teach all these techniques hands on up to five members, and there are still uh, two seats available uh, in the month of January 2021. So, if you're interested, please uh, click on the below description and come to my website and click on the details about this global trading school so i wish you great success on your trading journey so until i see you tomorrow on the live stream stay healthy and stay gold bye for now matane thank you it's not this one sorry bye for now